I'm not the kind of man who does things the conventional way. When I get jury duty, I say I'm sick. And when I pay my taxes, I do not pay my taxes. <laughs> That's why I was so happy about Tuesday's primary results. It was wall-to-wall -wall victories for outsider candidates. Those brave politicians well beyond the mainstream who don't know the meaning of bipartisan or most other words. <laughs> Opposers, let's look at some of these new names in the political arena. Welcome to Fringe Watch 2018. Too fringe, too far to the extreme. Fringe and extreme, that's kind of mainstream America now. Fringe. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That gorilla is actually running for Topeka Comptroller. <laughs> Opposers, we're here to salute the fringe candidates, those anti-establishment beasts climbing into the ring that is American politics. First up, weighing in at zero legislative experience, he's a candidate for Nevada's state legislature, Dennis Hoff. <laughs> um, Nevada voters just nominated Hoff as the GOP contender, and it's easy to see why. He has a nuanced, comprehensive fiscal policy known as being a pimp who calls himself the Trump of Pahrump, wins the Republican primary for the Nevada state legislature. Dennis Hoff, who owns several brothels in the state and stars in the HBO reality series Cat House, takes pride in emulating Donald Trump, even writing a book called The Art of the Pimp. Oh! The art of the pimp. It's like the art of the deal, but slightly more respectful to women. Uh, yes, just a little bit. I love Hoff. Just watch this Republican nominee at work. Want me to walk you around and show you everything? Yeah, yes. There's just rooms down here, and the, and the girls decorate them like they want. Yeah, we want people to, to be comfortable. LED, plasma TVs. Yeah, it looks just like a regular bedroom. What is this? This is a, a swing. I don't quite know. Um... How this works. <laughs> Incidentally, I don't know um, how this works is also Hoff's campaign slogan. <laughs> Still, the question on everyone's mind is, can a candidate who treats women's bodies as commodities fit in with today's GOP? <laughs> yes. Because Hoff is all in on Trump. When describing how the president inspired him to run, Hoff said Trump found the way and I jumped on it. And that Donald Trump was the Christopher Columbus. Yes, Trump and Columbus are the same. Brave pioneers who know that to achieve greatness, sometimes you've got to evict the current residents. So, we've got a pimp who idolizes a former reality host running to make laws for a state where you can contract syphilis just by flying over it. <laughs> That's some good fringe. But like I told my tailor, I think we can go even fringier. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't enough. Stepping into the ring now, standing at a towering six foot, I will ruin your family's Thanksgiving, it's the winner of Virginia's Republican Senate primary, Corey Stewart. Yes, now, this hunk of red meat crushed his mainstream opponents in the primary. So, of course, the CNN Danistas are complaining about him. Stewart is known for his championing of Confederate symbols and his ties to several unrepentant bigots, including organizers and participants in the Charlottesville rally last year. Oh, okay. That's a big charge. It's not his fault he's getting support from the Tiki Torch and Khaki Coalition. They support lots of Republicans for some reason. <laughs> and what's Stewart supposed to do about it? Spit in the face of his supporters? He can't. They're wearing hoods. <laughs> but come on. Stewart can't be that bad a guy. In fact, President Trump endorsed Stewart, saying that he has a good chance at winning. Let me show you how unfairly Stewart's being treated. Last year, he praised Paul Nealon, a self-professed pro-white candidate for Congress as his personal hero. Now, is Paul Nealon a white supremacist? Technically, definitely. <laughs> but Stewart has since disavowed Nealon, which explains the old expression, never meet your heroes. Especially if all your heroes are white supremacists. Okay, the ring is filled to the 
brim with fringe, but my God, what's this? We have an unexpected challenger entering the ring, and it's a Democrat. Okay, oh, wow, okay, opposers. Normally, fringe watch is just for the right, but once in a while, a liberal breaks through and earns their stripes. I present to you Colorado congressional hopeful Levi Tilleman. I'm Levi Tilleman. I'm calling on Congress to stop talking past each other and try something new. Empower schools and teachers with non-lethal self-defense tools like this can of pepper spray. <laughs> It's incredibly painful. It's just unbearable. It's like lava in your eyes. <laughs> now, that's my kind of Democrat. <laughs> the kind who will pepper spray a Democrat. <laughs> All right, so I gather Levi was trying to promote non-gun solutions to school violence. And obviously, I hate that, because the only real answer is good guy with a gun, etc. But I gotta see more of this guy. I don't care if he's progressive. I love watching Democrats shoot themselves in the foot. And Levi seems like he might actually do that. <laughs> so Levi, buddy, I can't wait for you to promote a higher minimum wage by clamping mouse traps on your nipples or <laughs> fight for immigration reform by locking yourself in a saw style trap where the key is surgically implanted behind your left eye. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited about the new direction of the Democratic Party and that direction careening into the Grand Canyon, attempting to make a point about corporate personhood. <laughs> These leaders are inspiring, but you know what? We can do Fringer. That's why I'm calling on you at home to take on the mainstream. Are you an unlicensed sea captain living on a boat that we could gerrymander into a state? Join us. Are you the last living Civil War general who is somehow still alive? <laughs> Settle up, partner. Are you a Bible that bumped into a genie's lamp and gained the power of speech? Well, welcome aboard. Get out there, opposers. Way, way the f out there. Opposers, are there any three words more exciting than click and subscribe? Yes, Hillary shot Lincoln. Subscribe now and find out the truth they don't want you to know. And by they, I mean losers looking for YouTube handouts without clicking subscribe. Do it.